Kenny Pratt doesn't like to shoot it from there. Well, there's a good matchup. Haley, Simeon Haley is guarding Kenny Pratt. We saw last night Mikey Moore from Nebraska. Pratt's not an outside shooter, he likes to drive. Let's talk about the size of that, the difference in size. Now Bankhead takes a shot, but it's a turnover. You got Haley, six, a seven footer actually out there, guarding Kenny Pratt, who's 6'4. And Pratt's strength is off the dribble. Take it to the glass spin pump fake. So Mikey Moore played off it. And when Pratt got inside, Mikey Moore blocked a lot of shots. So it looks like Norm Stewart did his scouting and he'll try Simeon Haley or Sammy Haley on Kenny Pratt. And you mentioned that Kenny Pratt is hurting his own two regular season games. Yeah, they've had a hard time containing his penetration. Now Winfield backs it out. Slow start the ball game. 3 2, Missouri. We played a couple of minutes and inside the catch. Good hands by Pratt. Simeon Haley taken away by Pratt. And Pratt wants to go by him and does, but the foul is going to be out on the floor. In the game in Columbia, won by Iowa State, 78-74, Kenny Pratt took everyone off the dribble. Kelly Thames, Derek Grimm had a hard time with it. We'll see that on the defensive end, Jason Sutherland. Here's the active hands inside by Pratt. And Kate, Cato keeps it alive. Pratt picks it up. Foul on Simeon Haley. Now Kenny Pratt. Willoughby shovels to Holloway, and down inside they go with it. Bankhead kicks it right back out. Holloway for three, short with a try. And Cato can't come up with it. Roy Willoughby released in a hurry and got back to shut down a possible fast break. He was back there to stuff it right after that shot went up. Winfield. Kelly Thames. Continue to watch Holloway on Sutherland. He just face guards it so he doesn't help out on anybody else. Sammy Healy missed. Simeon got it back. And walk. No basket. Tim Floyd and Norm Stewart. See him go inside. Sammy Haley turns. He hit a few of those last night. Here's a good rebound. Now well, there's a shuffle. About three, four, five steps. That's a pretty good call. Looks good in the dance hall, but not too good <laughs> the basketball floor. Yeah, one of the one of the things the Haley's have a problem with is their footwork. They seem to want to move both feet and never leave one plane. Norm discussing the call with the officials. Four turnovers, Missouri, in the early going. Result of fatigue last night. And yeah, we'll find out. And a walk. No, te technical on. Norm just got a technical. I think those Storm and Norman wanted that one early. You could see it, and he had the crowd riled up, and that man can rile up a good crowd. <laughs> we watched him last night work the sideline. He is into this tournament, folks. Loves to bring an underdog here to Kansas City. He worked last night as hard as I've ever seen him, and I haven't seen nearly as much as you. Now Tim Floyd. Tim Floyd might want one back. Tim's a competitor. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> he likes to challenge guys. Say, Wait a second. <laughs> Let me get the first one, guys. Come on. How could you give him a tee and I don't get one? Remember last year, Missouri and Iowa State, Tim Floyd only lasted about five or six minutes in that ball game and was thrown out. <laughs> Terry Reed coached them the rest of the afternoon. They came back and won. Tim was back at the hotel watching our telecast. So Norm has taken the tee. You said before that when you played for him and you were on the road, he quite often would take on the crowd to draw the attention away from the players. Now Norm is, I think, upset because they've been down talking to Tim Floyd for so long and Stanley Reynolds is going to talk it over. Norm, you can't take another one. <laughs> yeah, know. When, you know, when we played on the road and obviously we played on some good teams, and you take a team into Manhattan, Kansas, or Lawrence, and some tough environments, Norm Stewart would take the pressure off everybody because he would have the crowd focused on him. And all you had to do was play basketball. You don't think he's doing right here. He's a veteran. He knows how far he can go. And I think he's using all that experience. And these referees know Norm too. Yeah. They're not going to run him unless it just gets awful. Dedrick Willoughby makes one of the two free throws. Tim Floyd. We'll watch Bankhead throw it in bounds. The game tied at three, and now Norm probably has energized his club. And honestly, I thought they did look a little bit flat. They made those turnovers early. You know, think of how late the game ended last night, 10.30. You know, they get out here probably 11.15 to get something to eat. I probably was a pretty late time getting to bed for most of these players. Kenny Pratt against Simeon Halo. Blocked, and he took it away from him, and Pratt goes back to try and tie it up and draws a foul. I have to think, John, when the big tiger growls, all the little tigers <laughs> give it. Well, you either uh, follow in line or you go have a seat, so to say. <laughs> Kenny Pratt draws the foul. 
And here come the Tigers, still tied at three. They've got the ball, and not much damage done after all the excitement. Kind of slow start. Game one was a slow start. Kansas, Kansas State, both teams had a hard time getting on track. Sutherland, shot one fall for him. And he's digging for it on the baseline, as always. It's off his hands and out of bounds. I'll tell you what, you talk about effort and hustle. And J.C. Holloway shaking his hand here. Sutherland, though, more than likely fights you for about every possession. Doesn't give up easy. Made one spectacular play last night, the somersault in midair, and then made the pass. But uh, you have to fight him for 40 minutes. Got no by Kato v. Manalo. I tell you what, I don't know how big an eater Jason Sutherland is, but I, he would be at the table with the last pork chop laying on the plate <laughs> if he wanted. <laughs> Unless you can call for a fair catch. <laughs> 3-3 tie, 15-58 left in the first half. We got a timeout here. So, not much settled in the early going. Slow start both clubs, but here we are at 3-3. And we'll return after this message from the performance company, Phillips 66. Cars do more than get you from one place to the next. They're part of memories forged in childhood. Special moments spent together. Fond farewells. But as we all know, the journey doesn't always go as planned. And that being the case, it's good to have the peace of mind you only get from a familiar face on the road. Owned by people you know. For all the miles to come, Philip 66, the performance company. Plymouth Neon Coupe. With a zippy two liter 16 valve engine. suspension, a five-speed tranny, and 132 wild ponies. It's a pretty hot little number. Plymouth Neon Coupe, just $89.95. An exciting performance is taking place in healthcare right here in Iowa. Doctors, hospitals, employers, employees, they're all joining in. We're Principal Healthcare. Doctors you trust, quality care you need. We pull it all together in perfect harmony. What healthcare is meant to be, Principal Healthcare of Iowa, a member of the Principal Financial Group. We're tied at three. Iowa State beat Nebraska 62-60 in a hard-fought ball game last night. Then these Huskers got off the deck after all the problems they've had and really battled hard. And then in overtime, Missouri beating Oklahoma in one of the best games this building has seen at ages 92-88 in overtime. Kelvin Cato and Tim Floyd. So at the first time out, 3-3 tie. The rebounding, Missouri 6-1. But they're getting it off the boards, but they aren't holding on to it. They have turned it over a few too many times in the early going here. They have turned it over four times to Iowa State's one. And neither team out of the block shooting the basketball. One of five for Iowa State, one of four for Missouri. There's a nice little jump shot from Kelly Thames. And Missouri's in front five to three. One of the keys when you play Iowa State on the defensive end against the Cyclones, you want to keep them off the free throw line. In the first meeting between these two teams, Iowa State shot 40 free throws, made 24. Missouri was 8 of 14. They've done that all year long. In the Big 8 wins, they've averaged 30 attempts. The opponent averaged 13. They they get to the hole, and that Willoughby and Pratt are the two guys. 28% of their points come from the free throw line. That's Kenny Pratt. Are they going to give him that shot? I think they will until he makes a few of them. And you don't see him shoot a lot outside shots, but that looked pretty smooth. 5-5 five, five time. 28% of the Iowa State points from the free throw line. That sounds like a lot. Now Sutherland off target with it. He had seven threes in last night's game. The stick back, sending out Holloway. Holloway oh, got up and got a rebound. Willoughby from way outside. Nope. And trying to chase it down is Julian Winfield. The ball will belong to Iowa State. Dedrick Willoughby had 16 points last night. 12 of them in the second half. Most of them from the free throw line. Kenny Pratt, Bankhead to Holloway. Willoughby didn't shoot the ball well, but he hit the big shots down the stretch, which he has done all year long. And really made some nice dishes to some teammates. Good matchup, Winfield on Willoughby. And Winfield is going to be called for the personal foul. This person, I think Willoughby helped the official out there just a little bit. He gave him a little dramatics. Winfield staying with him down low. This is awfully difficult. Willoughby can go off to either side on a pick. 
A little pump fake right here. Lost the ball. Yeah, I think he got away with one there. I think so. I do believe. 5-5 five, five tie. 14-35 left in the first half. Holloway lobs it to Cato and right back to Holloway. Right back to Cato. And now Willoughby went the wrong way. Bankhead was trying to set a pick for him. Crap. Here's a matchup again in Columbia. Grimm and Thames had a hard time with Kenny Pratt. Bankhead shot no, and the rebound battle for Sammy Haley has it. Now Winfield. Kelly Thames. That's Barry Grimm who hit the big shot to win it last night. Thames is going to take it right down to the hole and miss the shot. And Kenny Pratt takes the rebound for Iowa State. Oh, Norm Stewart has been calm since he got the technical. Thank <laughs> Ed Holloway. That's a big hoop. J.C. Holloway can hit outside shots. It opens up a little more things for the Cyclones offensively. Both teams a little bit sluggish, right? Yeah, they are. And here they go. And Iowa State up to their first lead. And you know, I think it's expected. The games they had to play yesterday. It'll be interesting if, when these crowds, either team can get their team more fired up. But I think has four. Well, boy, they play difficult games. And here they are now back this afternoon. But you can almost bet that something will happen in the game to energize everybody, both teams and the crowd. And at some point, this game will hook on. Kenny Pratt against Grimm. That's not the shot you usually see him shoot. And Pratt trying to chase it down now is going to be Iowa State basketball. Norm had a hand on it, I think, and couldn't hold it. <laughs> As you said, not the shots you normally see Kenny Pratt shoot. Ball's tipped around, and uh, let's see if Norm Stewart's going to referee a little bit here. Well, yeah, well, he could hold it, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> he called Missouri ball. <laughs> Doesn't surprise you, does it? <laughs> Joe Moderman, who can shoot it, and didn't play that many minutes. Well, he played quite a bit last night. He should have legs. Willoughby. So explosive. Yeah. Took Winfield off the dribble and then couldn't score, but here come the Tigers with the basketball. I wanted to see Willoughby and Sutherland, both jump shooters, how well they use their legs and get into it. Sutherland struggled early. That was a tough one right there. Yeah. So what do you think? Are the legs there for either one of them? I don't think yet. I think it's one of those games where they warm up, more like an NBA game. <laughs> you know, where they get warmed up as they go and then competition just brings out the best of them. Cato foul. By Sammy Haley, his first. You know what I think I'm not seeing is the defensive reaction we usually see from these teams. Watch Kelvin Cato inside. The older he gets and the more he plays, the better he will be. If he had a little left hook right there, he could have had an easier play, but went back to his right hand. Haley made a good block, except with the lower body. But Kelvin Cato, who didn't play high school basketball, organized, went to South Alabama and transferred to Iowa State, has really had a terrific year. Cato set a tournament record with five blocks last night. And at 16 points and a dozen rebounds, career highs for him. Now he misses this free throw. 67% shooter. Sure plays with the ball a lot before he shoots it. And he gets it. Three points, Calvin Cato, and a one-point lead, Missouri. 12-14 left. In first half action here at Kemper. Kansas won the first game, six points over Kansas State. Wildcats put up a battle. Didn't get the win, but after the win last night, their performance today surely won't hurt them any in the tournament selection process. No, I think they'll be fine, actually. Got a thing, sharp. Iowa State spending most of their energy on Sutherland and Grimm on the defensive end. Right through the hands of Dedrick Willoughby. And we have a timeout, 11.50 left in the first half. Mizzou by one, and we're back after this message from Southwest Airlines. Flying the low fare airline is just plain smart. It's time for friends to fly free on Southwest Airlines. Wake up and smell the coffee. And people are friendlier than ever. Just make reservations and buy your round-trip ticket by April 11th at Southwest's full unrestricted fare, and a friend flies with you, free. Yo, Dad, what do you think? Friends fly free on Southwest, the low-fare airline. Call 1-800-I-FLY-SWA.
light. The silver bullet is shipped cold to tap the clean taste of the Rockies. Tap the Rockies! People want variety, so corporates come up with the burger in a month. We take our own oh. burger and put it in a pretty little box. But isn't that the same burger? You're not listening. At Sonic, you'll always find something deliciously different. Like our chicken sandwich, your choice of breaded or grilled. Right now with fries, it's just $2.79. So break away from the ordinary and drive into something different. Sonic driving for a change. John Sanders back courtside at Studio 66. Slim one-point lead for MU right now. Let's check out the Big Ten. Will this be Lou's final game at home? Well, we don't know. They wound up losing by a point. Tomorrow is Selection Sunday from here in Kansas City. The NCAA selections later, the NIT. Maybe Lou will have one or two more games left at home. Let's take you back courtside to Fred and John. Thank you, John Sanders. John and John, it seems to me maybe Lou Henson has never really received the credit he deserved for his coaching abilities has run an outstanding program uh, went to the final four with some had some great players come through the Illinois program I know they play Missouri every year and have a great battle in St. Louis around Christmas time but an outstanding coach and uh, he will be missed hey, what well, most college coaches will tell you that is going to be one of the great drives in the country at the University of Illinois with all the players in that state Eric Grimm off the jumper no and Joe Moderman rebounds it you know Moderman has added some valuable minutes Towards the end of the year, averaged about 15 minutes a game the last 12 to 13 ball games he's played. Kato with the miss inside off the dish from Kenny Pratt. And we know Tim Floyd doesn't have the bench strength as some of the teams do in the Big Eight. He won't play a lot of players. He played seven yesterday. That's probably where he'll go today. And Moderman has to come in. He is an outside shooter, but he's big enough, and Tim Floyd has made him have to want to rebound, and he's, he's responded. You're talking about coaching jobs. The loser sometimes in these games gets overlooked. I thought Kelvin Sampson last night, he lost that tough overtime game, but he was running out of players. I thought he was coaching about as good as, yeah. as you can. There wasn't anybody left for him over there. Yeah. He kept looking down. <laughs> he had run out of players. Boy, were there some great shots hit last night. Oh, You know what? I think we're talking about the teams being tired. I think the fans are tired today. Might be. I mean, I think they haven't responded yet. They were here late last night, and it was such a, a frenzy of a finish. Well, the end of that game took forever. There were so many great plays down the stretch. Erdman made the big shot, put it in overtime. There were just some tremendous plays from nowhere. Five, ten minute mark on in, I guess. Sutherland, short with a try. Sutherland again, and a little bit short again. And this time it's Haley Simeon down in there at one go. You know, Sutherland's getting good looks. They're running a lot more picks for him against this Iowa State defense, and Holloway's gonna have to fight through him. It was a double pick by the Haley twins. Sutherland gets wide open for a shot, just can't connect, and he gets another one. Here's the first look, and Holloway doesn't block out well enough. Sutherland gets another look. I don't think you want him having that many good looks. Tim Floyd will probably try to shore up defensively somehow. Norm Stewart took that technical at the 16.57 mark. That's five, six minutes ago. It was 6-6 six, six then. It's 9-9 nine, nine now, so that didn't put the charge in the team that he might have been looking for, but... It decharged both teams, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Simeon Haley missed the first free throw try. Seven footer, a senior from Little Beach, South Carolina. Ten. Sutherland's last two tries short. Does that mean legs? Yeah, it has a lot to do with legs. And what happens when you become more tired as a jump shooter, you have to start releasing the ball earlier in your shot. That's kind of like a golf swing. You forget about that until the game's over and you thought, oh, I wish I would have done this and I've been okay. <laughs> So when you play golf, you get done to if I'd have just rotated my hips better. All the way to Moderman, down inside Pratt against Haley, kicks it right back out. And Moderman steps by Grimm, pops the shot too strong that time. And Simeon Haley comes away with the rebound again. Missouri doing the job on the board. We're still tied at 9, 10 31 left in the first half. Like two tired boxers out there, knowing there's still a long way to go. Sutherland to Winfield. He's got a wide open three point attempt and he stuck it. Maybe not his game, but he got it done. He has shot better towards the end of the year and Tim Floyd will give up that shot. Winfield had 25 against Iowa State. Anytime you face guard and boxing one, you may have to give something else up. And Tim Floyd at Missouri 
gave up Winfield slashing to the basket, hitting open jump shots, and Tim Floyd said, you know, Julian just responded, make some open shots. First three of the game. I say that's not his game. He's 11 for 22 this year from three-point range. He just doesn't shoot it from out there very much. Will it be oh, nice Pratt. dish? Can he Pratt? Oh, goodness. That might be the spark right there. Well, Norm Stewart didn't think so, but it's going to be a three-point play, perhaps. And Willoughby is so quick with the basketball. We saw him make terrific passes yesterday as he got to the hole. And this is what Kenny Pratt does best. It's never really pretty. It's kind of the playground stuff. You lean your body, do some different things, and teammate likes it. So here we go, 12-12 tie now. And the whistle blowing down in the lane. Three second violation, that's two of them in this game. I don't, I think that's the only two we've seen in the tournament. Yeah, Simeon Haley got caught just standing there, won the basketball, had Moderman on his back. A little more of a box and one set that time by Iowa State. Well, it looks like they may maybe they did call a foul. foul. Well, I thought they had three seconds, but Let's see if Moderman goes to the line here. The players might have thought so too, John, because they didn't respond immediately. They didn't take off for the other end to shoot. Now Moderman will go to the line. That was the second foul on Sammy Haley was who they got. Joe Moderman, a 85% free throw shooter. Uh, Cyclones are only four of eight from the free throw line, but they've been there eight times again. That's the key to their success. You'll see the box of one. Just four guys playing a zone. And zone up the areas. And one man on Southern. Winfield can't find a shot. Now Willoughby came out on Grimm. Now Winfield takes in traffic. That's his game. Yeah, that's his game right there. And anytime you play a box, you can really split two people. We saw it yesterday. Nebraska did a nice job against Iowa State doing it. That time, Winfield gets away. 14-12, Mizzou with 9-11 left in the first half. And Winfield can get that shot. He'll knock it down all day. Kenny Pratt, Clay Edwards. Willoughby fires it down to Holloway. Holloway turns down a shot, finds Kenny Pratt. Down low he goes. Shot, no. Clay Edwards there, but the whistle blew before he got the rebound shot away. And a push on Iowa State. They got Clay Edwards for the push down low. Extended his hands just a little bit. Iowa State runs a lot of motion passing game. They set a lot of picks. They really look for two guys, Willoughby and Pratt, and the other guys try to, if you're open, you can get one. But they had the shot they wanted. Pratt just missed it down low. First foul on Clay Edwards, fifth on Iowa State, 17 fouls, Missouri. 8.49 left in the first half. Tigers with the basketball in a two-point lead. Slow starting ball game, but all the tournament games have been that way. You mentioned Kansas and Kansas State slow starter. Kansas won that one by six today. Got a Thames called for a walk after he came down with the ball. John, I'm not going to play favorites. I, I don't have any comments, neither do you. But you think the city of Kansas City might level with the state line running right down the middle if Kansas and Missouri wound up in the championship <laughs> game for the, for the, the final year. Big 8 tournament? <laughs> yeah, it would be something. Iowa State wants in a badly. They would love to win their first tournament championship in the last Big 8 tournament. Yeah, they were in the finals here last year. Oklahoma State won that tournament. We saw the Hurl Beecham show, which was a lot of fun to watch last year. He bombed it away from everywhere. But Tim Floyd's teams are fun to watch. Kenny Pratt, tremendous move, but the shot went and fall. And here come the Tigers, up by two with 8.02 left in the first half. Kelly Thames, Corey Tate. Winfield from the deep corner. Oh, that thing was in and came back out again. Corey Tate right there for the rebound. Winfield thought he had one. Iowa State not blocking out. Not very aggressive defensively, which is something we haven't seen all year. I mean, they're normally pretty aggressive. Right now, they're not quite in the ballgame. Wondering about the rims now, Jacques Vaughn and Aaron Schwarzenegger each had a shot like that in the first game. It looked like Jacques Vaughn especially stayed in there for a while before it came out. Willoughby. Oh, what a move. He's fouled. The shot wouldn't fall. Anytime you have a player like Willoughby who can shoot the jump shot or use his penetration, you have to have help defensively. Winfield's a good defender, and he keeps his body away. But anytime you're moving, Willoughby's going to probably draw some contacts. He jumps a little bit into him. Winfield does a real nice job, keeps his hands away, but what you'd like to see 
is someone stepping in there and help and let Willoughby kick it to somebody else. Make someone else shoot the basketball besides him. Second foul on Julian Winfield. Dedrick Willoughby. One for two at the line, 0 for three from the floor now. We talked last night, John, about Dedrick Willoughby, one of the players who has the ability to create his own shot when he needs to. He's not an impatient player. No, you're right. As a scorer, I'll tell you what, he's pretty solid. And if he doesn't have the shot, he'll drop it off for a good assist. Willoughby knocks him down, 7.32 left in our first half timeout. And we're back right after this message from your good friends at Phillips 66. given day you'll find couples at the park enjoying the benefits of ultra clean propane one of the alternative transportation fuels from Phillips petroleum cleaner air that's what it means to be the performance company the new Plymouth Voyager was named automobile magazines all-star minivan for 1996 car and driver ranked it in their 10 best automobiles of 1996 and not only does it surpass other minivans on the road but with a 3-liter, 150-horsepower V6 engine, it has 36 times the cargo space of a Porsche 911 for about a third of the price. Most health care plans only pay for health care when you're sick. Hi, Katie. I see that you brought your daddy with you today. Unity Choice pays to keep you healthy, too. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. With paid physicals, exams, well baby care. Look straight ahead while I check your eyes. And immunizations. That wasn't so bad, was it? Good girl. <laughs> Unity Choice, the lower cost health care plan that pays to keep you healthy, too. We are back, and here's our curse silver bullet replay. Now, you said Julian Winfield doesn't take many threes, only 22 entering this ballgame. He has become a better shooter. He works extremely hard on his shooting. Tim Floyd gave that up. But as you see his numbers, he had 25 and 12 rebounds in the ball game in Columbia. Full court pressure now from Iowa State. Tim Floyd trying to create a little something with his defense here. Last night at this stage of the game, Oklahoma and Missouri had made seven threes between them. Today, these two clubs have one right now. Kendrick Moore now is going to operate at the point. Will it be with him? 19 on the shot clock as Grimm catches it. Back to Moore. And it's always hard to play a team the third time because you surprise them with a couple defenses, and now the third time a team gets a chance to say, okay, we've worked on a couple things to get a better shot. Tough shot for Kendrick Moore. Wouldn't fall. Kenny Pratt grabs the rebound. Kenny Pratt with a big night on the boards last night. Had 14 points and 12 rebounds in that game. Pratt and Tate, pretty good matchup. Similar bodies, big and strong. Not real tall. They both like to play inside the paint. Corey Tate slowed by a leg injury late in the season, trying to get it back now. 16-14 Missouri here, 6.35 left in first half action. There's Bankhead all alone and too strong. Too strong, wide right. Not needle. <laughs> Deadly combination. <laughs> yeah. Sutherland, they left him alone for a minute. He's going to pop a three, and he's off the back of the rim. And Kelly Thames called for a push on the rebound. Well, you just kind of wait for either team to get on track. They put on, uh, you know, last year again, that first half might have been the worst half of basketball <laughs> that the tournament has seen. But, uh... well, you really have to believe that something's going to happen to put a charge into this game. It normally does. Yeah, you normally get defensive end, a block by Cato, a layup here or there, Sutherland knocking into three, something that just ignites the, the crowd. Today's game is brought to you by Western Auto, Serious Parts, and Serious Savings. Clay Edwards on the line, 6'6 freshman from Morning Sun, Iowa. And a lot of rim and got the shot down. Another solid contributor, averages over 20 minutes of ball game. One of the seven-man rotation really used by Tim Floyd medical red shirt last year. He's wearing number 40. That's an honor of Chris Street, the Iowa player who lost his life 
in an honorable election. I guess one of them will always wear that number for Iowa State. Yeah, an employer normally from the state of Iowa will wear that. And quite an honor. Most of these kids knew Chris Street and watched him play. And the heart and how hard he played. The player is a guy off the bench, John, who doesn't put up numbers for you, but so solid. He doesn't turn the ball. One turnover every 33 minutes. Yeah, you need contributors. Guys who rebound, set pitch, do the little things, especially at his age. And then he will develop as maybe more of an integral part of their offensive set as the years go on. Some guys can come off the bench, give you a really good two, three, four, five minutes and not put up any kind of numbers, but the coaches really appreciate it. Set a pick, play some defense, take care of the ball. Sean Bankhead on. Grim Bankhead, a very good defender. Wow. Oh, Sutherland let one fly from way outside and didn't get it. Willoughby finally captures a long rebound after it was tipped around a couple of times. Jason may be about to take a rest. Norm. Well, and, and you want to stay patient. You're not making your shots and you don't want to force some things. Though you made so many last night, you figure you hit one or two, you'll get going. That was pretty smooth. You know, Willoughby doesn't make a lot of just standing shots. He's good off the dribble. Cato put a real nice pick, and Willoughby just knocked it home. And here come the Iowa State fans. Fans are finally getting the charge here now. 19-16 Iowa State, 5-14. Left and a half. Grimm backing in. Tough shot, won't fall, and a whistle blowing. The foul is going to be called against Iowa State. Well, Cato thought he had a clean block. Kevin Cato taking a moment in front of the bench. Now we'll take a couple more moments and sit on the bench as he's been substituted for. Graham, an excellent free thrower. Sip Stan Jr. from Morton, Illinois, outside Chicago. Let's take a look now at our Sonic Drive-In of the game, brought to you by Sonic Drive-Ins, who invite you to drive in for a change. You'll see the pick set by Cato Haley. Sammy Haley that time needs to step out sooner against the shooter. Derek Graham hits them both. He missed two free throws in one trip last night, but he is an 89% shooter for the year, and I know you like his stroke. Well, for a 16, he keeps it simple. You line up the right side of your body, he's right-handed. No extra movement, line the ball up and follow through. Uh, it, it's... Most big guys struggle with it, and uh, as we've seen in the Big A tournament, we've had a lot of people struggle. Another smooth stroke by Willoughby, and he's fired up. That's a tray, and he now has eight points, and he has brought the crowd with him into this ball game. And Norm wants a 20-second timeout. Listen to the Iowa State fans now. Here they come. Southwest Airlines with low fares on every seat of every flight, everywhere it flies. Flying the low fare airline is just plain smart. You know the four points is the biggest lead so far in this game. Iowa State up four right now. 449 left and a half. Kemper Arena, Kansas City. Winner of this one plays Kansas tomorrow in the championship game. Kansas trying to pull off the double-double, win the conference, and win the tournament. Always been a hard thing to do, really, but they do have a good ball play. As they prepare themselves for the NCAA on a run that could get them to the national championship, possibly. A tournament like this, the Jayhawks probably deeper than any other team in the conference. Has to help them. Yeah, it helps. We saw Ryan Roberts in this first ball game step in, make some big shots. You know, a guy comes off the bench and ignites you just a little bit. Ferguson is a shooter from Missouri, number 22, with a basketball. So the box and one will be set. Holloway on Grimm is kick and shoot. A little short with that try. Two on one. Jimmy Pratt and Willoughby. And Willoughby to the bucket. Edric Willoughby has put a charge in his club. And he has a grin on his face from ear to ear. You know he's feeling well now. So much for being tired. Iowa State by six and a little more life in the defense. You can see him bouncing now. They found some legs. And listen to the Cyclone fans. Ferguson, Henry Moore. Can the Tigers match the emotion now and find something of their own? Ferguson, Thane in the lane with a tough jumper. Good. He has six. Danny Alouche will check in for Missouri. We're looking for a shooter. It's been Dedrick Willoughby who has stepped up now for Iowa State. Tough job for Kendrick Moore staying with Willoughby. They set a lot of picks for him. 
Jimmy Bratz, John Bankhead, Willoughby for three. And Wilson Blue, he was fouled by Ken Moore. No, it was down underneath, I'm sorry. J.C. Holloway. They've got Sammy Haley pushing J.C. Holloway. Now, that's an odd call. <laughs> Not that it's a bad call, but, I mean, it's odd to think that Haley at seven feet had to push J.C. Holloway out of the way away from the basket because I know J.C.'s probably not going to go pound the offensive glass and Sammy picks up his third personal foul. With 3.30 left in the first half, no less. Now Danny Alouche is in for Missouri. And Sammy is out. So it's much smaller lineup now for Norm Stewart. Maybe he's looking for quickness. J.C. Holloway. His third point of the day. Holloway, a kid, doesn't get enough recognition for what he does. Runs a ball club, handles the basketball about 80% of the time. Usually in the box of one, he's the he's the one guy who gets to defend, but has had an outstanding year, and that's why they're in second place. His career assist turnover ratio, three to one. That's that kind of timeout. 3.30 left in our first half, and Iowa State has caught a bit of a spark. They're up by a half dozen. We'll be right back. The best way to introduce the new Plymouth Breeze is by applying the lessons you learned in kindergarten. Take turns. Share with others. Follow the rules of safety. And oh yeah, get something really cool to bring to show and tell. The new Plymouth Breeze. No matter what kind of car you have, at Western Auto and Parts America, we have all the parts you could ever need. Like starters, and clutches, and shocks, and even engine. And all for guaranteed low prices. Oh, and don't forget, brakes. Western Auto and Parts America. Serious parts, serious savings. People want variety, so corporates come up with the burger of the month. We take our own burger and put it in a pretty little box. But isn't that the same burger? You're not listening. At Sonic, you'll always find something deliciously different. Like our chicken sandwich, your choice of breaded or grilled. Right now with fries, it's at a special low price. So break away from the ordinary and drive into something different. Sonic, driving for a change. Sanders had a microphone problem right there. He said some really brilliant stuff, and I'm sorry you didn't get to hear it. We'll get his microphone <laughs> worked out and get him back with us in Studio 66. In a moment. <laughs> Best stuff you've done all weekend, John. Sorry about that. <laughs> Iowa State has scored 10 of their last 16 points at the free throw line. They're 10 for 14 for the game now. John in Missouri, three for five, and that's a story you talked about earlier. It seems to happen a lot. And Iowa State, uh, they key on that. They focus on it. Watch Bankhead 31 doing a defensive job on Grimm, just trailing him everywhere. Grimm had to throw it up off balance. Went and fall. Iowa State gets it back. Clay Edwards. Cyclones making a good effort here. Again, tough matchup for Kendrick Moore. That's Jason Sutherland. Willoughby hit the deck, and Willoughby looks at the official. Will Kennedy just shakes his. <laughs> Will Kennedy said, nope, nothing wrong there. No call. No calls are sometimes good calls. Here's where they clear out, let Pratt go one on one. Kenny Pratt, shot wouldn't fall. He's battling for the rebound, and Derek Grimm has it for Mizzou. Seen that play all year long. They'll send four guys. It looks like they're going one way, and they come back with the basketball. Pratt gets the whole side cleared out. Nice move. Good block. More block. Edwards is in there. Willoughby running the floor on the wing. Pratt looks in. Edric Willoughby against Sutherland. Now Holloway, 16 on the shot clock. Sutherland doing more face guarding on Willoughby, like Iowa State does. Kenny Pratt moves on Danny Alou. And Payne's coming to help. Kenny Pratt got whacked on the forehead. And he's down. I think he's okay. Well, credit Iowa State. They go back to the same play. Go to your strength. Alouche on Pratt again is a tough matchup. Get 
Kelly Thames, second foul. And they cleared out, and here comes Kelly Thames to help out. Leaves his feet a little early. Huh. Right across <laughs> the face. That'll hurt. Kenny Pratt on the line. One for one at the line today. 63% shooter. He has five points. Oh. Gee whiz. Hmm. He almost banked it in. There's a controversy in Kansas City over whether or not to build a new arena. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of bricks laid here that might have gotten us there. There were a few yesterday, that Oklahoma State ball game. And he perhaps comes back and get it. He has a half dozen points. A minute 50 left in first half action now. And Iowa State up by seven, the biggest lead of the ball game. There's Joe Moderman, a shooter off the bench for the Cyclones. And Kenny Pratt's going to get a little breather. See if they can free up Sutherland a little bit for a shot. Ten fouls committed by Missouri now. Six by Iowa State. Minute 40 left in the half. Sutherland pops the three short. And over the board it goes out of bounds. A lot of them have come up short for him. Yeah, everyone's at the front of the rim, and he's frustrated. He's one of nine from the field. Set a double pick. Holloway got caught. Just couldn't hit it. Talking about Jason Sutherland, who hit seven threes in last night's ball game. You know this, though, Fred. He won't quit. I mean, he, he's not going to stop doing the things. And he needs to shoot the basketball for Missouri to win. Some of the old shooters at it. Shoot if you're hot, and if you're not hot, shoot till you get hot. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> J.C. Holloway. 20 on the shot clock. Iowa State in no hurry with it. They milked the clock the last two or three positions. Kenny Pratt with the catch. 15 on the shot clock. And there's going to be a riding foul on Corey Tate, about 25 feet in the bucket. You know, and you can't do it. It's just not a very smart foul when you're... Iowa State in the bonus gets to shoot free throws. Again, Kenny Pratt not known for an outside shooter. And you want to get up on him a little bit. But see, now he's so close. He's not giving any room. Once you penetrate, referee's going to see the little bit of a reach. Wasn't much contact. But you have to be a little bit smarter than that. And John, you have to really be quick and good defensively. When a guy's still got his dribble to get up on him that tight. Yeah, you really do. And you really have to be. Jock Vaughn quickness, or yeah. something like that. Iowa State scored only three field goals the last 12 minutes, but they've now established an eight-point lead, and they're doing it at the free throw line. Kenny Pratt's second try is short. Mizzou down eight. A minute 10 left in the first half. You get the feeling the Tigers need something to take to the locker room positively. Alouche. Moderman will have a hard time staying with Alouche, probably off the dribble. Thames wants it down low. Winfield, Alouche. Winfield's try was short, and Iowa State runs it down. The Cyclones have the ball, an eight-point lead. 45 seconds left in the first half, 28 on the shot clock. Now Willoughby. Normally like to spread out in this situation. Willoughby will handle. Pratt's the other guy that wants the ball in his hand. Sutherland giving him plenty of cushion right now. 15 on the shot clock, 30 left in the first half. Now Pratt goes after a loose down low. And tough work shot won't fall. Clay Edwards got it back for him and didn't kick it back out. Moderman's tip no. Moderman and Pratt battling down inside against Missouri. J.C. Holloway trying to save it. And it finally rolls out of bounds with 15 and a half seconds left in the half. They discuss it. And it comes right back to Mizzou. The Tigers going to get a chance to slice into this thing before the halftime gun. This you know, is Iowa State action. really beating Missouri right now to the punch up on the rim. They had a couple tries for the basketball. And good hustle by everybody, though. They called Holloway for stepping out of bounds. Missouri basketball, they're going to get a chance here at the end of the half to close to within six or possibly five. Tigers haven't scored for three and a half minutes, and they're hungry for something here. Five seconds left, and now we've got a whistle blowing down in the lane. I think they got Moderman on a hold. Alush will go to the free throw line with four and a half seconds left in the half. And Danny Alush, a good free throw shooter, 82%. Alush, probably the happiest man in the building last night when the Tigers won. <laughs> he missed one out of two <laughs> that would have put it away for him. Allowed Erdman to hit a big shot to go in overtime. Alush gets that one down. He missed the first one last night. Came back and got the second one, got him up by three. When he missed the first one, I thought he was going to fall over backwards. Boy, there's a lot of emotion in that game last night. And John, that's probably a point as much as the physical part of it, the emotional drain. Now Tim Floyd takes 20-second timeout. Four and a half seconds left in the half. Six-point lead now.
Four and a half seconds, 28-22, Iowa State. And John Sanders has all these equipment working. Go get them, John. <laughs> all right, Fred, we do have it working. Somehow it came unplugged. 35-24 Wake in the ACC semifinal. Leading Clemson, 69-52. Mississippi State, the Bulldogs ahead of Georgia in the second half in the Southeastern Conference semifinals. And we have our Bud Light halftime report coming up. There is Roy Williams settling in to watch tomorrow's opponent for the Big 8 Tournament Championships. Let's send you back courtside now to Fred and John. All right, thank you, John Sanders. Here you see four and a half seconds left. Iowa State has the ball in the six-point lead. Missouri has just one field goal in the last eight minutes. Maybe Norm won't feel too bad if he goes in down and six. And here's what you don't want to do if you're Iowa State. Make too dumb of a play because there's plenty of time for Missouri. Sutherland got one off and couldn't get anything on it. He was badly off balance. And that's going to do it for the first half of action here in Kemper. 28-22, Iowa State has hammered out a six-point lead. We'll bring you right back to Kemper Arena. Today's Big 8 basketball game is brought to you by Phillips 66, the performance company, makers of high-quality, super-clean gasoline and Trop Arctic premium motor oil by Chrysler Plymouth and your local Chrysler Plymouth dealers. By Shelter Insurance, celebrating its 50th year, Shelter Insurance will always be there for you. And by Sprint, the only long distance company that puts you in touch with the Big 8 Conference. I am one with my Pizza Hut Rawlings game ball. I am a human highlight film. I Yo, hurry up. am awesome. Come on. But I ate the whole pizza that comes with the ball. So I Stink. am incredibly slow. I'm leaving. The game ball, $4.99 with any pizza. Keep the ball, share the pizza. Fool, you'll love the stuff we're made of. Ever since Southwest Airlines introduced Friends Fly Free, people have gotten friendlier. Sugar Plum, your favorite pillow. If you make reservations and buy your round-trip ticket by April 11th at our full unrestricted fare, a friend gets to fly with you, free. Hey, Dad, seen the head trimmer? Absolutely free. Here's that putter I borrowed last year, old buddy. Southwest Airlines Friends Fly Free. It's great for your pocketbook and your popularity. Plymouth has new ways to shop for a car. Hop on the internet at home or visit Plymouth Place, our interactive computer at your local mall, where you can create your own customized Plymouth Neon, Voyager, or Breeze. Take a test drive on the Information Superhighway, where you'll discover that Plymouth is fun, affordable, and a whole new way to shop for a car. I learned a lot from my dad about the painting business. He taught me to work hard, build a good reputation, and why he always insisted on Diamond Vogel paint. Times have changed, and we're painting things dad never dreamed of. But one thing that won't change is the paint we use, because Diamond Vogel's idea of top quality is the same as mine. Dad taught me to be a pro, and pros who really know quality use Diamond Vogel paint. Ford Credit announces the Great Percent Event, slashing interest rates to just 4.8% APR for 48 months, or choose $600 cash back on a purchase or $600 back on a red carpet lease. It's your choice on 10 1996 models, including Ford Taurus, Ford Contour, Ford Probe, Ford Windstar, Ford Escort, and more. But 4.8% financing or $600 cash back won't last forever. The Great Percent Event at your Ford dealer now. Hurry, offer in soon. Missouri and Iowa State at the half, and our halftime report is brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, official sponsor of the 1996 Olympic Summer Games. Make it a Bud Light. Six-point halftime lead as we welcome you back to our Bud Light halftime report from Studio 66 courtside here in Kemper Arena. The last of our semifinal games, and the Cyclones have squeezed out a six-point lead at halftime. Last night, an exciting overtime game involving Missouri and Oklahoma. There have been some very thrilling overtime games in the championship final. Here that comes up tomorrow and let's take a look back at some of those thrilling moments with another sprint big eight moment in history the first two years that the big eight held a postseason tournament the final game needed an extra period to be decided 
The only other tournament final that required overtime was in 1983, and that year one overtime period was not sufficient. Number one seeded Missouri had just won its fourth consecutive regular season title. Oklahoma State, which had not claimed a conference title since 65 and had never won the Big 8 tournament, was the number three seed. In the final, a nail-biter that went into double overtime, Oklahoma State edged out a 93-92 victory, knocking off the favorites and winning its very first Big 8 tournament championship. Of course, the Missouri Tigers trying to fight their way through to the championship game against the University of Kansas. Kansas is a six-point winner over Kansas State in game one of our sensational Saturday of semifinal action. The 1996 and last Phillips 66 Big 8 Conference Championship will continue with our halftime report from Kemper Arena. So stay with us. We're coming back right after this. Our Phillips 66 classroom champion is Chris Hess, a junior on the Kansas State baseball team with a 3.5 GPA in construction science. Phillips 66 is proud to salute athletes who excel in the classroom as well as in athletics. All across the heartland, in big cities and small towns, and all the miles in between, we're there. In the best of times and the worst of times, a helping hand along your way. A company dedicated to helping you get the most out of your car, as well as your life. For all the miles to come, Phillips 66, the performance company. Senator, your mouth has amazed this panel. First, you come out in favor of Long John Silver's crunchy batter dip fish. Wholeheartedly. <laughs> then you endorse the breaded clams. I cannot deny that. So, Senator, which is it? <laughs> Actually, I'm making a motion for Long John's golden batter dip shrimp. No matter which seafood taste you favor, you'll amaze your mouth at Long John Silver's. And is it true that money changes hands? Yes but only $1.99. Build your own meal. 147 combinations, just $1.99. Down there, you've got 400 horses under the hood. Up here, that's 399 too many. High Country Barley, Rocky Mountain Water, brewed a mile high. Original Coors in the yellow can. There's nothing like the beer from up here. Now it really pays to play at Prairie Meadows Racetrack and Casino because you can turn your Prairie Gold Club card into cash. Use it every time you play the slots or make a paramutual wager at Prairie Meadows and you earn points that can be redeemed for cash. Membership is free, so join today and start cashing in. The Prairie Gold Club card at Prairie Meadows. It really pays to play. From Kemper Arena in Kansas City, Phillips 66 is proud to bring you the 1996 Big 8 Conference Basketball Tournament. Iowa State has the halftime lead, trying to advance to tomorrow's championship against the University of Kansas. We continue now with the results of the Sprint call-in fan voting. The voting for the Coach of the Year in the Big 8 Conference. And Good choice, obviously, Tim Floyd from Iowa State. His Cyclones trying to move to the championship round against the University of Kansas. And the all-time Big 8 player, the fans call in, suggested Danny Manning. Excellent choice. Danny leading Kansas to the NCAA championship in 1988. And his dad, Ed, former assistant at Kansas, is about 10 feet away from our Studio 66 location enjoying this game. And he did not participate in the voting. Tim Floyd, Danny Manning, two more of the fan selections. Now the Long John Silver's Big 8 catch from Colorado, Donnie Boyce, the all-time leading scorer at the University of Colorado and a member of the All-Big 8 team in 1993 and in 1994. The Missouri Tigers, an exciting, thrilling, maybe tiring win last night in overtime against Oklahoma. Certainly Missouri not shooting the basketball, especially from three-point range the way they did last night. They'll need to pick it up in the second half. Iowa State leads it by six. We will be back. Get ready for the start of the second half of semifinal game number two from our perch here at Studio 66. So stay with us. Back to Kemper Arena in Kansas City, Missouri in a minute. 
weathered some of the worst storms, survived some of the most brutal punishment dealt by the elements and the economy. We've helped millions of families throughout the heartland of America do the same. And together, we've come through stronger, more resilient than ever. For home, car, and life insurance, we're proud to be your shield of shelter. Shelter Insurance will always be there for you. The new Kawasaki Vulcan 1500 Classic, with the biggest V-twin ever to hit the asphalt, you've never felt anything like it. There's bacon flying this way, cheese flying that way. Hardy's introduces the ultimate bacon cheeseburger. He didn't just eat it, he attacked it. Sizzling bacon, melted Swiss and American cheese. It's all burger. All mine. So what'd you do then? Took him to a chick flick. Now that's some burger. Tonight, shopping. The new ultimate bacon cheeseburger from Hardy's. So what'd you have for lunch today? Enjoy the ultimate omelet biscuit at breakfast tomorrow for just 99 cents. 28-22, Iowa State in front of Missouri here at halftime. Camperita, today's second semifinal game. Kansas won the first game. They're in the championship game, just waiting now to see who they play tomorrow afternoon. Jumper cables might be a good idea. Both <laughs> ball clubs, we talked about it in the beginning, maybe a little bit flat looking for legs. I think they have been. Yeah, it was sluggish. Uh, neither team shot the basketball very well, so uh, well, we hope that picks up. It will. I bet you they're going to catch the spark in the second half. Today's halftime stats are brought to you by Southwest Airlines. The low fare airline is just plain smart. And there's the shooting or lack of it that you talked about. Yeah, you can really just see both teams not making any shots now. The free throws are the difference. Cyclones, spend a, spend a lot of time on the free throw line, and they're doing that by penetration. Missouri, the cue for the cue for key for them to win is a three-point shooting, only one of eight. And last night, Grimm and Sutherland, 12 threes between them. Today, they're combined one for 12 from the floor in the ball game. That was a two-point goal by Jason Sutherland. Now let's take a look at the shelter insurance first half highlights. Well, Missouri moved the basketball well early, and Winfield hit a three-pointer, and then that allowed for his penetration to knock in that shot. He only had five points on the night. Sutherland has struggled. He was one of nine from the field, and the one he hit was a tough one, the running banker. Maybe he'll get on track the second half. For Iowa State, Willoughby has picked up where he's really been the whole year. On top, he has 11 points. He's hit some outside shots. He's hit some penetration. J.C. Holloway's the other guy we'll talk about. Wide open on that shot. Doesn't shoot very many. If he makes the ones he's open, it makes Iowa State a better ball club. The two guards who played 40 minutes each last night. Celebrating its 50th year for your life, home, car, farm, or business, shelter insurance will always be there for you. Again, we are at halftime in our second semifinal game today. The winner of this plays Kansas tomorrow. Iowa State up six at the break, and we'll bring you right back to Kemper Arena. Today's Big 8 Conference basketball game is brought to you by Phillips 66, the performance company, makers of high-quality, super-clean gasoline and Trop Arctic premium motor oil. By Bud Light, official sponsor of the 1996 Olympic Summer Games. Make it a Bud Light. By Long John Silver's, America's place to go for amazing shrimp and fish. And by Pizza Hut, home of the all-new triple-decker pizza. Have one delivered today. It's time for friends to fly free on Southwest Airlines. Wake up and smell the coffee. And people are friendlier than ever. Just make reservations and buy your round trip ticket by April 11th at Southwest's full unrestricted fare, and a friend flies with you, free. Yo, Dad, what do you think? Friends fly free on Southwest, the low fare airline. Call 1-800-IFLY-SWA. 
you're working harder than ever. You need a truck that does, too. Don't move. Introducing the all-new 1997 Ford F-150. With even more horsepower and torque. And all the legendary strength of an F-Series. If it gets to the Grand Canyon before we do. The all-new <laughs> Ford F-150. For the most part, people look to their cars as a way to get where they're going. And if your car doesn't perform, well, you could end up somewhere you don't want to be. We don't want that. That's why, for nearly 80 years, people from far and wide have counted on Phillips to get them on their way. Mile after mile, year after year. For all the miles to come, Phillips 66, the performance company. Thanks to Sprint Business, there's a company who does more business in skis. Sprint gave us an edge. Sprint worked with Milan and brought them real solutions to help them get ahead so they can check orders online from anywhere and promote new products through video conferencing. Now they do business a whole new way. And sales are really soaring. We'll help your business do more business. Call Sprint Business. Interesting here, John Sunvold. This conversation has been going on for a long time. It's been all Norm Stewart. <laughs> yes, it has. You know what, Tim Floyd, though, will not, uh, he's not going to let Norm talk to the referees without him being there, but uh, it has been one sided. Tim finally just shook his head and walked away. <laughs> Last night in the Missouri Oklahoma game, they had a little halftime meeting with the two coaches, but this one really has been all Norm. Norm got a tee early in the first half when the game was tied 6 6. It wasn't heated, but anyway, there we are. So Norm has figured his keys out. John Sunvold, your keys for the second half. Well, you know what? If uh, you play football, you have rugby, soccer, baseball, whatever. This is a fine score, but folks, this is hoops. Let's get some better shooting going. We need some scoring in this game and get some excitement. Stanley Reynolds, the referee today, just offered a key. Says they need Sunvold back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not sure that would work either. Dedrick Willoughby, 11 points. He's really the one guy that put some spark in the ball game. Yeah, he did. He, he got out on the break, took it to the hole, made some jump shots off some picks. I think now with 20 minutes left and the importance of the ball game, especially for Missouri, for the NCAA bid, I think we're going to see some energy in this building. I think you'll hear a lot of crowd reaction. I think if the Tigers lose today, it'll be real tough to put them in the tournament. They, oh, yeah, they I, I think they're ball. done. Yeah, I think they would need to win the tournament. Bankhead got it. Sean Bankhead's first points of the day. And Iowa State runs a set play to start the second half, and it worked. Yeah, simple play, back pick. Bankhead, who moves well without the basketball. He makes hard cuts, so you have to stay with him. Biggest lead of the game. Eight points, Iowa State. Let's see if Missouri can answer. Sutherland running around a pick. Shot's not there, and he threw it away. Tried to get it. Semi on Haley. Have to be more patient. Let the center set himself a little bit. He threw that on the move, and Haley was not ready for the basketball. Willoughby against Winfield. Bankhead. Kenny Pratt tried to get it to Holloway, and it's taken away by Mizzou, and here comes Sutherland up the sideline with it. That's one J.C. might not want to save. It took him out of the play. He's got to get back into it. Winfield having trouble with it. Saved by Kelly Thames. And Holloway got a hand on it. 22 left on the shot clock. Missouri will play it in down. You know, you just really get the feeling guys are really tired. Yes. I mean, you know, you look at Holloway's face. Yeah. Pratt tried to throw in the basketball down low last possession like Holloway wants it, you know, on the bottom. <laughs> well, Kelly Thames steps up for the Tigers, knocks down his eighth point of the day. And that's a six-point contest again. Holloway and... Willoughby each went 40 minutes for Iowa State last night. Missouri played the last game last night, overtime. Oh! Kenny Pratt with a jump hook, no. Winfield has Sutherland up with him on the break, and he's going to slow it down. Now we've got a travel call. John, we mentioned this very briefly in the first half, and he had to go away. I still think as much as the physical part of it, Missouri played such an emotional game last night against Oklahoma in the last game of the night. That might be as telling as any part of it. And Norm Stewart said in his press conference, he said, you know, I just wanted this team to play hard, win or lose last night, so if they go out, go out on a good note. 
and they won that ball game, but maybe they expended so much energy, even, you know, mentally. It's tough to come back today, but again, six point ball game with 18 minutes left. We're a long way from being over. Well, you were a player for a long, long time. At some point, you look at that board and say, hey, you know what? <laughs> we can win. We this can thing. win. You're right. Roll it. No. Rebound, Haley. Simeon pulled that one down. He and Sammy in the game at the same time now. William Winfield just pounding that basketball on the floor with the dribble. Sutherland got that one a little bit too strong. That's the opposite of what's been happening to him all day. Now he's one for ten. Holloway. Will be cut through the lane, couldn't get it, and Bankhead way outside. Simeon, Haley, and Cato pushing one another down inside now. Cato has three fouls. <laughs> Willoughby off the baseline. Boy, he can shoot it. 13 for Jedrick Willoughby. Back in front by eight, Iowa State. Norm Stewart wants 22nd time out. Well, if the Tigers are going to catch that spark and make the charge, it's probably going to come after this timeout. Norm's not happy. Yeah, that's a 22nd where uh, a lot of instruction are going to come up. Iowa State runs a lot of motion, set a lot of picks. And Willoughby read the defense that time. He was going back door to go through. He saw where Winfield was going over the top. He just slid out to the baseline, knocks in the open jump shot. That puts Iowa State back up by eight. Norm didn't like it, but nobody was covering. Down through the years, Norm Stewart, who's coached in now over half of the basketball or played, coached or played in over half the games ever played at Missouri, has held to the theory that if your guy goes to the bathroom, cover him. <laughs> you go everywhere. He doesn't like it when players on the other team get open. we will talk to Jason Sutton a little bit. I think Jason might be one of those, but too. Yeah, this is a situation where both ball clubs, you have to have other people step up to win games. And we saw it last night, you know, Cato had a huge game and Sammy Haley. You need different players in tournament time to step up because you know the stars are going to be well guarded by the opposition. John, we talked about adrenaline earlier. Did you ever or very often play in a game and think to yourself, I'm really tired? I'm not in college. Yeah, it doesn't NBA, dude. Yeah. <laughs> NBA, sometimes the coach look down there like, hope he's not looking my way. <laughs> but not in college. You know, you always like to play. Mizzou got it inbounds to a loose right into the basket. Tough shot. No. And another foul being called underneath. And this time, they got Simeon Haley. His second. That's probably another little telling sign. I don't want to make too much out of fatigue, but guys can't finish shots down in there right now. Yes, yeah, missing some easy ones, too. But Luce worried about Cato right there, and you know, actually had enough distance between Cato. He could have really made an easy layup. Holloway against Luce. The lob down low, intercepted by Haley. Sammy Haley took it away that time, and here come the Tigers. Another chance to cut that eight-point deficit, Themes. Well, Luce from Missouri is a shooter. Other than that, they don't have a lot of scores on the floor. Winfield inside. Thames has been able to knock in some 10 foot jump shot. John Bankhead. It's his first foul. Well, he works at it. He really does. Gives a great effort, that young man does. Well, if you're going to play for Tim Floyd, I guess you have to, but he is able to turn it up a notch higher than most people can. Thames looking. Now just lobs it in to Sammy Haley. And there's Stanley Reynolds calling the foul down there. Well, we had a few whistles here. It's hard to get into any kind of flow when whistles blow like that. Last night after the referee coaches conversation at halftime and the Missouri-Oklahoma game, they blew a lot of whistles to start the second half. Now it's happening again. Now how big is that going to be? Yeah, a big basket for things, but, you know, it's interesting. We didn't have a rough first half here. No. You know, I don't know if that was a conversation with Norm Stewart and Floyd, but it wasn't a rough first half. I mean, it was half sleepy, so I'm sure they're not worried about too much contact. We've had a lot of whistles blown in the second half. Well, I got a feeling maybe this one was Norm Stewart called that meeting. There's another foul down inside on Kelly Thames this time, and that's his third. I know when they walked off at halftime, Norm Stewart was looking at officials saying, are you telling me that wasn't a foul? How could that not be a yeah, foul? Yeah, at the end of the first half, when the ball was thrown down the court, yeah. you know, a lot of bodies were flying, and you couldn't believe. Watch Kelly Payne's reaction to this foul. He's going to hide. 
You can run, but you can't hide. 16-13 left in this game, and a six-point lead Iowa State. Bankhead to the line. Two points in this game, a 69% free throw shooter. Iowa State typically outscoring their opponent at the free throw line. Iowa State now 13 for 19 at the line. Missouri just five for seven. So an eight point difference. They get a nine point difference. And it's an eight point ball game. So that's where the bulge is coming from. Sean Bankhead now has four. Six fouls have been called in this half already in three minutes and 47 seconds. So it's a little reminiscent of Missouri, Oklahoma second half start last night. Things aloof. Winfield, the Tigers look a little quicker in this offensive set. They're trying to move the basketball. That bucket, second Kelly hoop, Yeah, second hoop in a row for Thames. A little more aggressive with the basketball that time. Has all six Tiger points this half. Kelly Thames, just a sophomore, but he was the kind of guy you'd expect to step up, isn't he? Yeah, and I tell you what, he's had a hard time with the knee. But when you watch him play, he's not quite recovered from the, the knee surgery he had a year ago. But he will probably get that back. I think he's 70, 80 percent when you watch him jump up to take shots. Well, that Calvin Kayla that time, and Tim Floyd doesn't like the call. Well, that would be his fourth personal foul, and that's a big one. That could be a huge foul as Calvin Cato is going to have to go take a seat. Let's go to a message from your hometown Phillips 66 station. You'll find good things for cars and the people who drive them. Under this bright yellow cap, inside this distinctive black bottle, you'll discover gold for your car. Premium quality Phillips 66 Tropartic Motor Oil, engineered to the highest standards of the automotive industry. Now in an environmentally smarter bottle, a bottle made with recycled materials. Look for Tropartic Motor Oil in the black bottle with the yellow cap and discover gold for your car. There are definite reasons we created Ford Windstar to be the only minivan with available all-speed traction control and four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes. Reasons it has a wide stance for secure handling and also meets 1998 federal passenger car safety standards. We'd like to show you one more reason, but it's still a month or so away. Introducing the 1996 Ford Windstar, created for the most important people in the world. If you need the toughness of the best-selling truck in the world, then check out the Great Percent event at your local Ford dealer. The choice is yours. Get a 96 Ford F-150 with 4-8 financing, 600 cash back, or lease for only $249 a month. Either way, you get an XLT with a driver's side airbag, power locks and windows, air conditioning, and more. It's 4-8 financing. It's 600 cash back. It's a lease for $249 a month. It's the Great Percent event, and it's only at your local Ford dealer. Welcome back to Studio 66. The difference at halftime was six and four and a half minutes into the second half. It is still a six-point ball game. Let's show you some other action. First of all, from the Big Ten this afternoon, Iowa leads Purdue 42 to 40 in the second half. And the Bulldogs of Mississippi State in the SEC semifinals have defeated Georgia by a score of 86-68. Missouri's got to get it going. Let's take you back to our table. Fred and John. All right, thank you, John Sanders. John Sunvold, so how do you do it? Kelvin Cato. Block five shots, changed a bunch more last night, now he's out. So what does Missouri do now? Well, you're going to have to attack inside, but, you know, Iowa State made their run at the end of the first half. They built the lead with Cato on the bench. A loose stumble. Holloway picks up the loose ball. Winfield trying yeah, to catch him. By Winfield. Oh. Winfield's way back out of bounds and out of the play, and Kenny Pratt's able to take advantage and score his ninth point. Well, great hustle by Winfield to get back in the play, but the Iowa State teammates out-hustled Missouri. They had four guys on the offensive end. Again, the eight-point lead for Iowa State. Sammy Haley wants to get it out of there, tries to drop it to brother Simeon, and he reverses it and hits. Well, the Haley brothers have a little size advantage right now. Took a little while for Sammy to find his twin brother, but mission accomplished. Mizzou within six, and now Willoughby handles against Julian Winfield. Yeah, that Purdue-Iowa score, that could affect... Of course, KU in an impossible number one seed in the NCAAs. Gene Cady might be the coach of the year. I wonder how many people can name one starter for Purdue. They've won their third straight Big Ten championship. Yeah, no kidding. And uh, winning three Big Ten championships in a row is outstanding. Another whistle, and 
Again, you see the reaction by Thames. It was a late whistle. That'll be his fourth personal foul. With 14.22 to play. And that offsets somewhat at least. And maybe even more so the Calvin Cato fourth foul. Thames is going to try to plead the case that he wasn't part of that play and usually doesn't make a difference. He's not even close anywhere. You got the Haley twins there, and Thames is. Well, I mean, and, and I guess he thought he pushed Willoughby. Now a walk. I have no idea, but he blew, you know what? He blew the whistle when Thames came in the picture after Willoughby had thrown it up. So maybe he thought Thames put an extra push. Get Willoughby out of the way. Anyway, he's got four persons. He's got four, 14-14 four, to play. And Kelly Thames has had to sit down. Jason Sutherland now will return from Missouri. Kalush. Winfield. Winfield, quick move and a little jump in the lane. That's that's his game. We talked about it earlier, John. His, yeah, point. Yeah, his game is 12 feet in. Try to get it to the paint. Awful effective inside. Now the Tiger fans are going to start to roar a little bit here in Kemper. They haven't been heard from much today, but you get the feeling now maybe the Tigers are beginning to catch a bit of a spark. They're back within four. Iowa State's turned over four times in this half after just three turnovers in the first half. Willoughby got a little screen from Clay Edwards, but Tammy Haley came to get him. Now the shot, no, and Clay Edwards saves the rebound. Willoughby for three. Clay Edwards chases it down again. We haven't talked about him in the first half. The little things that he does, Kenny Pratt, no, nope, and a foul. How valuable was Clay Edwards on that possession? Two offensive rebounds. Well, he said in the first half, he'll give you good minutes, and maybe you won't see anything in the box score. On a Missouri offensive end, Julian Winfield backs it up and then takes Willoughby just one-on-one. -on -one penetration gets to about six, seven feet from the hoop, finishes the play. Clay Edwards has one rebound. He gets a second, and Kenny Pratt will do what he does best. You go up and hang and change hands, cross contact. Kenny Pratt now has 10 points. Four for six at the free throw line. Well, give the Cyclones credit. They have not allowed Missouri to get close, get to tie ball game. They've now scored Missouri by 11 points at the free throw line. 38-32. Holloway not allowing Sutherland to catch the basketball. Grimm, double team blow, kicks it back out in the corner. Winfield with 17 on the shot clock. Simeon Haley, Sutherland on the drive. His second bucket of the day. Outstanding. They probably worked on that in practice. Holloway's been playing on the top side of Sutherland. Making him go back door. Finally, they brought a man up. Yeah, Allowed the, the back door cut and made a That's the best they've run their stuff all day, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. 38-34. Pratt. Clay Edwards. Clay Edwards. <laughs> now, Simeon Haley's been called for a foul. And a technical. And a technical. Overreaction does not work in this ballgame. William Winfield trying to settle him down. That'll be 4,005. The block, the hands are straight up. The whistle blows. Norm Stewart says clean block. Ball on ball, and here's the reaction. And that technical takes him out of the game. That's going to be his fifth foul. Yeah, that's why you can't overreact. Now Clay Edwards will just took himself out of the ball game. Yep. Not to come back. Bill Vick once said about strike three in baseball, it's very final. The best lawyers in the country can't get you out of it. <laughs> Five fouls are the same way in a basketball game. Yeah, especially when you pick up your fourth. And then get the fifth on. Yeah, get the fifth on uh, just really overreacting and pulling your shirt out and things. Norm Stewart in a conversation with Ron Zetcher, one of the officials here. You know, you may want to, uh, Norm Stewart may be saying, hey, you got to let him play. This is a basketball game. Big eight conference. There hasn't been a lot of contact on a lot of shots on both ends, either side. And, and, Nor and Tim Floyd was upset when Cato picked up his fourth foul and wasn't a lot of contact on that one. And Haley's questioned the call, so. You know, it's hard to play all year long in this conference. It's a physical conference, and then 
come to a situation where it's uh, a lot of little things are being called. And Clay Edwards will shoot the personal. How do you picture the Missouri players huddling by themselves off to the side? And Jason Southern was delivering the message there. Clay Edwards missed the two. Now Dedrick Willoughby will shoot the technical shots. He's an 80% free throw shooter. Three for four today at the line with 13 points. Tim Floyd. You know, you mentioned uh, a team huddling up. Like Missouri. Southern Price said, folks, there's 12 minutes left in our season. We can either extend it another day or we pack it in. Dedrick Willoughby now has 15 points, and it's a six-point lead. Today's game is brought to you by Western Auto. Serious parts, serious savings. Good help by Grimm. What a big help on a shot. He came one way, Grimm had good help side. He went back the other way, no help on the other side. Big basket. 17 for Willoughby and back to the eight-point margin for Iowa State with 12.05 to play. Look at Clay Edwards back in the lane. When Haley catches the top of the key, he's not worried. He's just playing center field down low. Let's see if the Tigers have an answer. Winfield. They're just going to let him take that shot if he wants it, and he doesn't. If they're going to front Haley, you have to clear out the weak side so you can lob it over the top. Missouri now doing that. Aloysius Block got it back and scores. And Missouri got a little lucky that time. Stayed with the play. You can hear the buzz behind us out of the Iowa State section. I mentioned a lot of Kansas-Missouri fans naturally in, in Kansas City. I tell you what, there's no larger or more vocal contingent of fans than Iowa State at this tournament. Well, someone told me they have 1,200 people in the pavilion next door that, a big part, that don't have tickets, and they're watching on the big screen. You know something about Tenacious? There's a lady named Lou Ann Jensen, an Iowa State fan, who had labor-induced Tuesday, had a baby boy named Dixon, and she and her husband Mason are here. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy Haley. She had labor-induced, had the baby boy. Now that's a fame. And her, that's tough. Uh, that, that's a fame. You know what? Don't get in dispute with that lady. <laughs> She'll win. Four-point game again, Kenny Pratt. Larry Graham got a hand on that ball and bothered him, and he had to give it up. Willoughby with 15 on the shot clock. Pratt again. Boy, he's going to go right at the big guy. Tip no, and Haley has it. Simeon Haley digs it out of there. Here come the Tigers down four with 10.30 to play. And if they can hit a basket, you're going to hear quite a noise. Thank you. Jump by a loose. Shot was short. Rebound fought for. Julian Winfield's got it. And the Tigers are going to get another crack at cutting into that four-point deficit. You can tell by how tired the players are. Most players are bending at the waist and not the knees, and that's a huge difference. Winfield spinner. Good. He has nine, and the Tigers are back within two. And bringing their fans along right with them. 9.55 to play, and now it's the Cyclones who need the answer. Kenny Pratt. Facing Simeon Haley. Watch for Dedrick Willoughby. He's hit big shots all year long. Well, Sutherland trying hard to stay with him. Pass. Willoughby found an open man down low. Hit the deck and a foul call. Put the ball in the best player's hands and let him create something. And Willoughby can either shoot it or take you off the dribble. Makes a lot of good plays for his teammates. We have 9.40 to play, 42-40 now, Iowa State. That was the eighth team foul on Missouri. Iowa State's committed four. And a miss. And Mizzou could tie it or take the lead. Grim for three in the lead. In and out. Mizzou ball. They have miscommunication by Iowa State. You don't want Derek Grimm to have an open shot. You know, last night he took about that same shot. Norton didn't like it. He pointed to him that time and clapped his hands and said, yes, we got a game. We'll be back. 
Next is Lady. Exceptional sheen. Oh, very good color. Friends. Hands. Oh, such stateliness, such majesty. that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud Light. The best of show, more. I am one with my Pizza Hut Rawlings game ball. I am a human highlight film. I Yo, hurry up. am awesome. Come on. But I ate the whole pizza that comes with the ball. So I Stink. am incredibly slow. I'm leaving. The Game Ball, $4.99 with any pizza. Keep the ball, share the pizza. Fool, you'll love the stuff we're made of. Are you ready? Let's go. Get out and play. Get whatever you've got. You like that? <laughs> Gatorade. Good. Gatorade. You're gonna get thirsty. Life is a sport. Tough day. Drink it up. <laughs> we are back, and it's a two-point ball game. Yeah, Winfield down low worked and has been pretty effective the second half at getting a position where he can score. And this is a possession where Iowa State, you know you don't want to leave Derek Grimm open. Tonight, though, he is 0 for 4. Last night he hit five three-pointers. He's 0 for 4 on all field goals today. Missouri 9 for 14 this half. Iowa State 4 for 12. And the Tigers have found some spark. Simeon Haley picks up the inbounds pass, goes to work on Cato, has four fouls, and Cato got the block. But Winfield gets it back. Boy, good block by Cato with four personal fouls. They may want to try to go back to Haley. Last night it was Sammy Haley who came up with 23 points and 13 rebounds. Career highs. Calvin Cato has great timing. Stays away from the offensive player, lets him go up in the air, and then he goes after the basketball. Good hustle by Winfield to get the loose ball. He went up for the block, and Tim Floyd's heart might have gone right up with yeah, no his throw with it. But he made it. 9.07 to play, 42-40. Iowa State, Grimm for three in the lead. Short with the try. Cato with the rebound, and here comes Willoughby. Holloway. It's a loose guarding Willoughby right now. Face guarding him, and Cato lost the grip on it. Look at Sutherland hustle again. Diving out of bounds. It'll still be Iowa State ball. Tell you what, he might not have his legs, but there's nothing wrong with his heart. No, I tell you what. He comes from all the way on the weak side. He's out of the picture. Look at that. As Cato makes a spin. I'll tell you what, those photographers down low now get a little <laughs> bit of a taste what it's about. That was Matt, our man Matt. In the middle of the play down there. Pretty little performer that he is. He's up and back <laughs> in the game. <laughs> J.C. Holloway, heavy traffic. Wouldn't fall for him. That's tough shooting luck for J.C. Holloway in Iowa State. Now Grimm working hard at the other end. Picked up the dribble and finds Sutherland. Oh, he had a loose. He waited. Sutherland made one too many bounces. A loose had an opening. There's number five. There goes Cato. He has just fouled out of the game with an 8-18 to play. You know, Sutherland catches the basketball. If he passes it right away, Alouche has a wide open three. But what he had elected to do was take one dribble and then throw it. So Alouche didn't have the shot, and then he penetrated. Cato on the help side defense tries to stay away, and Alouche smart enough to jump a little bit in there and draw contact. Tell you what, if that shot had gone in and the foul, you would have heard this arena explode. Now Alouche. Two out of three at the line, has four points today. The best he can do now is get him within one with 8.18 to play. And missed them both short. Haley, that one wouldn't go. Boy, and the Missouri Tigers had an excellent crack at it, getting the game tied and came up short. Oh, you have two free throws to tie, and then Sammy Haley has an easy one. Moderman. Willoughby. Grimm is there to help. Good help by Derek Grimm. 
Now Winfield catches up to Willoughby. 13 on the shot clock. Moderman against Deloosh. Willoughby. Holloway from the corner was wide open and stuck it. Sutherland came up to help on Willoughby. Willoughby found the open man. Holloway knocks it in. Six for Holloway. Four-point lead Iowa State. 7.35 to play and a push down inside. That's Clay Edwards, I believe. Clay Edwards, second foul. Team fouls. Eight, Missouri. Seven, Iowa State. Sutherland comes up. He leaves Holloway wide open. Again, give credit to Dedrick Willoughby. A lot of scores would force more shots. He tends to find the guy who's open. Simeon Haley is 0 for 2 at the line today. 52% shooter. Seven-footer. Senior from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. His brother Sammy is fouled out. He misses the front end of the one and one Derek Grimm hunting a tough shot, but he got it down. Derek Grimm tough in there. His first bucket and fourth point of the day. Two-point lead, Iowa State. Bankhead working against Grimm. Gives it up to Moderman. Moderman has to move a little bit better. When Bankhead starts making his move to the basket, he drew some attention, but Moderman has to free himself just a little bit better, a little better spacing than he could get a shot on. First foul on Danny Alouche, 19 foul on Missouri in the second half. Again, Iowa State's been called for seven. Norm Stewart and Tim Floyd. Joe Moderman on the line, terrific shooter. Missed his only free throw attempt today, though. And missed that one. Well, Luce grabs the rebound, and here comes Mizzou down two. <laughs> Haley, and we're tied. Terrific pass by Winfield. Well, now the Missouri fans will have something to cheer about and a little bit of noise in Kemper Arena. Found a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of air to breathe. Mizzou at one time down eight has come back to catch him, and now whistle blowing, and the ball goes to Mizzou. A foul on Iowa State. I think Sean Bankhead Bank called for a, on a back pick. You know, both teams are really tired. Defensively, they're not guarding anybody. And just a really good look by Julian Winfield. Sammy Haley finishes. You talked about the potato a while ago, and right there again in Sutherland was standing with his hands on his knees, bent over, gasping for air, waiting to go up and shoot the free throw. He has four points today, made seven trays in last night's game. 6-1 junior. And that one was short and hit the front of the rim. Well, we've seen a lot of misses. A lot of missed free throws by good shooters. And a lot of them short. Yeah. 6.33 left. We're tied. 44-44. And now a whistle down in the lane as Holloway hits the deck. I think that's Sammy, Sammy here. Sammy here. That's his fourth. His brother is already fouled out. So is Calvin Cato for Iowa State. Now with 6.29 to play. Sammy Healy commits his fourth foul. Moderman out for Iowa State. Pratt back in. Tim Floyd in the background talking to his ball club, and here's J.C. Holloway on the line. 77% shooter, two for two today with six points. He's a junior from Mount Ridge, Kansas. Played on four state championship teams. Their teams were 99 and four when he was in high school. Their man knows how to win. Played a lot of minutes this year for this ball club. Been banged around quite a bit. Is there a down one? Ian Willoughby went all the way last night and again tonight. Now Missouri has their first lead. And that, looked like fresh, that looked like fresh legs by Daniel Luce. He just took the basketball, went right by the Iowa State defense and hit the easy jump shot. Missouri's last lead came with eight minutes left in the first half. Now they're up by a point with 6.04 left in the game. Clay Edwards, Holloway, Kenny Pratt down and low. Wanted it, couldn't get it. Willoughby from the top of the circle. Three won't go. And Alouche runs it down. Now he's tripped, hits the deck. Holloway has it for the moment. A good play by Holloway. Kenny Pratt down in the lane against Haley, who has four fouls. Grab level. And Pratt had a chance to give it up to his teammate Willoughby. Wide open on the wing. And Dedrick Willoughby not happy about the decision by Kenny Pratt. 
Look at the emotion in that Missouri squad right now. Timeout here, 5.45 to play and will return after this message from the performance company, Phillips 66. Sometimes your journey sends you far from home or sometimes just around the block. Moments shared along the way make the trip worthwhile. That's why at Phillips 66, we know that safe driving not only gets you there, it brings you back. Mile after mile, year after year. For all the miles to come, Phillips 66, the performance company. Every few years, the world gathers to witness an unparalleled sports spectacle, the Truckathlon. <laughs> And to compete, you have to have a Ford Ranger 4x4 because you'll need a switch-on four-wheel drive for truck long jump. It's four-wheel anti-lock brakes for truck discus. And it's whopping four-liter V6 for truck hurdles. The Ford Ranger 4x4. You can't win without one. Next event, truck pole vault. Yes! The man was an animal. Jeffrey? All through lunch, there's bacon flying this way, cheese flying that way. Hardy's introduces the ultimate bacon cheeseburger. He didn't just eat it, he attacked it. Sizzling bacon, melted Swiss and American cheese. It's all burger. All mine. So what'd you do then? Took him to a chick flick. Now that's some burger. Tonight, shopping. The new ultimate bacon cheeseburger from Hardy's. So what'd you have for lunch today? Enjoy the ultimate omelet biscuit at breakfast tomorrow for just 99 cents. On our Southwest Airlines out-of-town scoreboard from the Big Ten, Iowa leads Purdue by four in the second half, and it is waked by seven over Clemson. That game is in the second half as well. We've seen some atrocious free-throw shooting by everybody in this tournament this year. Overall, all of these teams combined are shooting 64% from the line. That's not very good, Fred. Not very good at all, John Sanders. Record crowd watching all that, too. 18,119 here this afternoon. A new record shoehorned in here. Now Mizzou up by a point with the ball. 5.41 to play, and every position now gets huge. Aloche takes Bankhead to the circle, picks it up. Needs help, finds it. Julian Winfield. Winfield backs in against Willoughby. Jumper short. Look at Kenny Pratt go up and claim the rebound, and now the Cyclones look for the lead. Bankhead against Aloche. All the way against Winfield. Pratt against Haley. Well, he might go to the bucket there. Haley with four fouls. I'll tell you what, I've been watching Will be very active without the basketball. So when just face guard. There's Pratt down inside against Haley, who has four fouls. Gave it up with five seconds left on the shot clock. And the ball's turned over. Big defensive stop for Missouri. Yeah, did a nice job. Sutherland gives Sutherland a lot of credit. Willoughby couldn't free himself. Jim Floyd didn't like the call. Norm Stewart's gone to work. 4.53 to play. Mizzou by one with the ball. A loose against Bankhead. You know, we're seeing Winfield down low a lot on Willoughby. He can score in that low post position. Well, Pratt got a hand on it, but Missouri saves it. And a three-point lead for the Tigers as Winfield picks up his 11. Missouri just matched their biggest lead of the day with three-point lead. Away, fourth, 29 left in the game. 22 on the shot clock now. Cyclones really need something here to put the charge back in it. Will be a come off picks coming up high. There he is for three. Oh, Sutherland and, ran. and Sutherland ran right through Pratt. I'll bet Pratt goes to free throw line. That's three, and that'll be two free throws for Pratt. This could be a five point play. Sutherland ran right through Kenny Pratt. We'll see who they put to the line. But Willoughby down low does a nice job. He goes up and through instead of around, and there's Sutherland running right through Kenny Pratt. Whistle blows. Pratt ran into Willoughby. I don't know how J.C. Holloway's there, though. J.C. Holloway's on the line. He didn't seem to be in the play. That's yeah, why that's Willoughby. That's not, not the right guy. Now Missouri knows it, and they're talking to him about it. It was Jason Sutherland who... North Stewart wants a tee. That is a T if it's an intentional deal. But Norm Stewart caught it, I think, and yelled at Jason Sutherland, who yelled at the official. Now Tim Floyd quickly calling his club over. Norm Stewart saying, hey, that's a T. Not called very often. No, I don't think I've ever seen him called. No, I haven't either. 
Kenny Pratt still doesn't want to step on the free throw. He's been, he, Kenny Pratt's still standing on the lane. Like he didn't get fouled. Now the question would be, did they, they did foul Kenny Pratt. Here it comes. You cannot intentionally step up to the free throw line if you're not the guy who got fouled. But the guy who got fouled was Kenny Pratt. J.C. Holloway was standing yeah, way over in the way left corner by himself. Now the officials are conferring. These are good officials. They're going to do it's what they It's done a lot. I mean, it's done a lot. Sure. Everybody tries to step up there. That's just part of the game. But uh, now they're going to put Kenny Pratt. Well, let me ask you. You're an 84, 85 percent shooter. Did you ever do that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you try every time. Got by with it once in a while, too, didn't you? Yep. Now, as long as, as long as your teammate would let you. <laughs> I had teammates who shot free throws well too, and they'd say, get out of here. That's <laughs> mine. Pratt misses the first one. 11 points for Kenny Pratt today. We're tied at 48. We're still tied at 48. Grimm came out of there with a the rebound. 4-14 to play. Danny Alouche will be covering him. Grimm inside. Winfield in the lane. Oh, that's a good move. Couldn't get it. Had a hand on the ball. Iowa State has it right now, but it's out of there to Missouri. Roll out of bounds. We're seeing some effort now. And we have a timeout here with 3.59 to play, tied at 48 and back. After this, from Southwest Airlines, flying the low fare airline is just plain smart. Ever since Southwest Airlines introduced Friends Fly Free, people have gotten friendlier. Sugar Plum, your favorite pillow. If you make reservations and buy your round trip ticket by April 11th at our full unrestricted fare, a friend gets to fly with you, free. Hey dad, seen the head trimmer? Absolutely free. Here's that putter I borrowed last year, old oh, buddy. Southwest Airlines Friends Fly Free. It's great for your pocketbook and your popularity. Just make sure you stay in the chariot, Chuck. I guarantee you're going to win the dang race. <laughs> That's good. True story. Oh, <laughs> you are so special. That chariot thing you did and the water stuff. <laughs> I love you, man. You're not getting my Bud Light. Frankly, son, you frighten me. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. And it's more like, I love you, man. <laughs> See? The great percent event just got greater because now you can get into Ford Escort with 4.8% financing or up to 1,000 cash back. Or choose the popular Ford Windstar and get that same great 4.8 financing or 1,000 cash back. It's an even greater value direct from Ford Credit to you during the great percent event. 4.8 financing for 48 months or up to 1,000 cash back on Ford Escort or Ford Windstar. But hurry, the great percent event ends soon. So get to your local Ford dealer now. Studio 66, could Missouri be headed to a second straight overtime? It's tied 48-48, 3.59 to go. Round of applause, huge round of applause from the Kansas fans because here's the final. Iowa has defeated Purdue, 56-52 in the Big Ten. Right now, we're inside four minutes to go. Fred, go back to work. All right, John Sanders, huge round of applause to you and all of our crew at this tournament, too. John and I have gone every other game. You and our crew have gone every game in this tournament. They are a terrific television crew, and our hats are off to them before we get out of here. Outstanding work. Winfield. Grimm. 344 left in the game. Now 20 on the shot clock. Alouche takes Pratt the circle, gives it up to Haley. You know, it looks like Danny Alouche really has the most energy on the court. He's moving well without the basketball. When he gets it, he's trying to break down the defense. That time draws all the attention. Makes a nice little pass. Sammy Haley has an easy layup. 22nd timeout. Iowa State. Well, it seems like he has a feel for the game, too, John. Yeah, he does. He really he knows how to play. European player, obviously, from Israel. In Europe, they play the game. They pass, they cut, they share the basketball. That's a little bit different than they play in the United States anymore. Too many kids here like to dribble the ball so much. That time, you see a loose penetration and gives it up. Hasn't played a lot of minutes this year, but 21 years old as a freshman. He will be a good player for Missouri in the next three years. You know, the European game is developed in the game that used to be played in the United States. A lot of passion, a lot of cutting. Our game is developed into more one-on-one -on -one with the basketball, with the dribble. Well, probably one of the reasons for that, that game over there is only set up by the older coaches here who went over and held clinics. Coaches over there looked at tapes of them. 
Yeah, you're right. A lot of clinics are held by a lot of college coaches that go over in the summer times. That's why in the Olympics you'll watch European teams. Fundamentally, they're fun to watch. They don't have the quickness, size, and strength as the American players do. Good well, hands by Sutherland. Got a piece of that basketball. Mizzou up two with the basketball. 3-10 to play. Alush against Kenny Pratt. Jason Sutherland. Tough shot. Won't fall. Sutherland had a hand on it. Still fighting to get it back. And he's going to chase it down. And we've got a jump ball. And the possession arrow belongs to Missouri. With three minutes and a second to play. That's a quick jump ball. Yeah, it was. Sutherland, again, kind of forced the shot inside. Been frustrated a little bit. Had the look as he goes after this basketball. He wasn't happy with the call. <laughs> no, because they already had the ball anyway. All that happened right. to them is they lost the arrow. Oh, that's right. Missouri now is now rebounded Iowa State, 38-28. They're up two with the ball. Again, 3-0-1 to play. Lob it in to Simeon Haley. Winfield in the lane. Foul by Joe Modern. His first. Winfield will go to the line, a 60% shooter, 11 points today, hasn't shot a free throw yet today. Missouri doing a nice job, a little better spacing. Put the ball into Haley and then let Haley go to work and once Willoughby doubled down a little bit and Winfield made the cut, Haley gave the ball back. Winfield missed one of the games against Iowa State but had 25 points and 12 rebounds in the one game he did play against them. Three-point lead in Missouri matches their biggest lead of the day. Iowa State was up by eight for a while. Winfield skying to get it. Pratt takes it away from him. Two and one. Will it be with him? Oh, that'll be an intentional foul. Sutherland called for the intentional foul. Willoughby is down. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We hope Willoughby is not hurt. He's hurting. Whether or not hurt, and he's going to get up. Willoughby has to be careful now to keep his emotions in and not react to the foul. Now Pratt makes a steal. A two on one, and watch where Sullivan comes from. Look how hard he comes down on top of that head. That kind of stuff's really uncalled for. You don't mind a hard foul, but he comes down elbow on top. That kind of stuff is not good. And Willoughby again now has to hold his reaction in because as a player, as a person, he would like to react to that. Well, it was called intentionally. It could have gone flagrant. Yeah, there's no doubt. It's going to be interesting to say all this finishes now. Now it's a two-point ball game. Mizzou had a three-point lead when Sutherland made that foul, and he might have put all the emotional charge back on the Iowa State side. Well, the best player on the floor is a man right there in the free throw line. And I've always thought you just don't want to rile up the best player, though he misses that free throw. So it's 51-49, Missouri, and Iowa State will get the possession now after the intentional foul. Two officials are right there as Sutherland and Willoughby were walking side by side, and now Sutherland coming out of the game. Well, North Stewart making a good move. You don't want things to go further than where they were. Iowa State has made only two field goals in the last 11 minutes and 30 seconds. They've gone from eight in front to two down, and they have a chance now to get the tie or take the lead. Now it's Winfield guarding Willoughby. Holloway gives him a pick. Pratt gets it out front. A loose not known as a real good defender. Moderman. Kenny Pratt. Willoughby sets the pick for Pratt. Holloway, 18 on the shot clock, 227 left in the game, and now Willoughby in the lane. Tough shot. Got it. And the game tied. Kid is dynamite. That's why his first team all big eight. Big shot after big shot all year long. 23 for Willoughby. And listen to the Iowa State fans. Box and one, they will guard a loose. Well, we've got emotion here now. 2-12 to play. We're tied at 51. Don't go away. The winner plays for the championship tomorrow.
These days, you're working harder than ever. Yeah! You need a truck that does, too. Don't move. Introducing the all-new 1997 Ford F-150. With even more horsepower and torque. And all the legendary strength of an F-Series. If it gets to the Grand Canyon before we do. The all-new Ford F-150. Thanks to Sprint Business, there's a company who does more business in skis. Sprint gave us an edge. Sprint worked with Milan and brought them real solutions to help them get ahead so they can check orders online from anywhere and promote new products through video conferencing. Now, they do business a whole new way. And sales are really soaring. We'll help your business do more business. Call Sprint Business. Well, from the Big 8 to the ACC semifinal, Danny Johnson keeping Clemson in the game with a three-pointer, but Tony Rutland has the answer for Wake Forest from three-pointers. He ices the game then with a definitive slam, and Wake wins it. 68-60 is the final score. Dave Odom's club moves on to the ACC championship game, 68-60 over Clemson. Two minutes and 12 seconds to go here. Fred and John, we are very much up in the air about who's going to face Kansas. Really are, John Sanders. You know, Senator John, thinking about Dave Odom, he really fights with a short stick. I've spent a lot of time in the ACC. He must be a terrific coach. <laughs> he must be good. And he's got a good big man this year. There he goes. All right, 51 all, 205 to play. Missouri ball. Again, boxing one defense. They're going to stay on the loose. Holloway will match up for the loose. Winfield, if he can penetrate between the seams, he may be able to get a shot inside. Nine on the shot clock. Oh, good pass by Payne. Taken away. And here comes Iowa State with a chance to go in front. A minute 45 to play. Holloway out front with it. Bankhead, he won't shoot it from there. Willoughby will shoot it from anywhere. Again, tough matchup for a loop. Not used to the quickness of a player like Willoughby. Take you off the dribble and explode off the bounce. Willoughby didn't like what he had after the pick from Pratt. Now Bankhead, 11 on the shot clock. Pratt down low against Haley, who has four fouls. Good work. Shot good, and Iowa State's back in front. Kenny Pratt. Well, Pratt was only 3 of 12 until that shot, but he wanted the basketball, got it inside. Haley, I thought made a good defense play, didn't foul. Minute eight. Left to play. Iowa State by two. Jelly thing. Iowa State moving that zone. Grim cut it in the corner, no shot. 55 seconds to play, 16 on the shot clock. A loose short with the crown. Iowa State has it with 49 seconds to play. They're up by two, they'll have to shoot it. Cyclones have scored the last five points to regain the lead. And here's the guy you keep the ball in his hand. Dedrick Willoughby. 15 seconds difference, 20 on the shot clock, 35 on the game clock. Look at Tim Floyd in the background. It's again, it's just a tough matchup for Danny Luce. Nine on the shot clock, and Willoughby goes to work. Takes it to the bucket, and foul. With 51 seconds to play. Tim Floyd wants a quick word with his club. Look at the Cyclone fans. Jason Sutherland back in, replacing Danny Lewis. It's simple. Willoughby's going to do what he can do. He draws a contact. He's good enough with his body. Leans into Haley just enough to contact. Grimm was coming over to help on the weak side defense. Willoughby a terrific free throw shooter. Dedrick Willoughby, 80% from the line. Seven out of eight today. That's big. That's a three-point lead, Iowa State. With 21 seconds to play, he can put him up four right here. You can see the energy from Tim Floyd on the sideline. He needs to stop once a timeout if Willoughby hits his free throw. 24 for Jeffrey Willoughby today. And five, and it's a four-point lead with 21 seconds to play. He just made it a two-possession ball game here. Tim Floyd gathering his club around him. They've got the four-point margin, and again, just 21 seconds to play. Missouri needs something big. 
Today's Big 8 Basketball Tournament game is brought to you by Phillips 66, the performance company, makers of high-quality, super-clean gasoline and Trop Arctic Premium Motor Oil. By Southwest Airlines, fly Southwest, the low-fare airline. By Ford and your local Ford dealers. By Western Autos Parts America. And by Burger King, where you get your burgers worth. Now let's take a look at our Pizza Hut delivery of the game, brought to you by Pizza Hut, home of the all-new Triple Decker Pizza. Have one delivered today, and you'll love the stuff we're made of. A little determination right there. 25 points on the afternoon. Huge difference on the free throw line. 22 of 36 for Iowa State, and Missouri only 6 of 13. That is Kemper. Kemper is alive. Kemper is alive with Cyclones right now. Yeah, it is. 55-51. A very large and very vocal and a very great bunch of Iowa State fans looking like their club is going to get to the championship game tomorrow unless Missouri comes up with something huge. 17 seconds to play. Winfield spinning move at the baseline. It's a... Two-point ball game now. Winfield knocked it down. You know, nice move by Winfield. Only took about five and a half seconds. Got it all the way up the court. Made the spinning move. Made the shot. So now they have an opportunity to set their defense full court. Winfield just simply wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. Willoughby is not going to foul. So he gives him enough space, enough room. Nice touch. Tim Floyd will now put four guys in different corners of the half court, and then they run and they kind of meet in the middle around the free throw line and they break up. You can get a long pass from it. Defensively, Missouri's going to try to do some face guarding, make them throw over the top. If they catch it, expect a foul. Could be a little incongruous here, John. Sunvold, we talked about how many games Iowa State has won at the line. They've outscored Missouri 16 at the free throw line today. If the Tigers can't stop the inbounds play, Probably going to have to foul him. And yeah, I think you have to foul him. If you'd like to foul a guy like Kenny Pratt or someone who hasn't made as many free throws. And you can see some of the fan reaction. But expect Iowa State to look for Willoughby, look for Moderman to get the ball into Holloway. Now, we've talked this entire game about fatigue, maybe the lack of legs, and credit to both teams. No lack of heart on no. either side here. Yeah, it's been terrific battle. They won't give up at this level. State 14 for 18 at the line in the second half. Missouri just one for six. Again, Iowa State spreads it out. You have a guy in each corner and then two at the corner at the half court. They come to. Well, they just, I tell you what, they fouled Kenny Pratt. Winfield fouled Kenny Pratt right off the bat before the ball was in play. They never even got it in bounds. Well, that's a good decision. Kenny Pratt, 63% shooter. He's five for nine at the line today, so that's your best percentage. No time off the clock. Norm Stewart telling him to foul Kenny Pratt right away. And again, they were going to come in there. And Julian Winfield is very top of your screen, riding him out of bounds. And there's the call. No time off the clock. And Kenny Pratt gets to go. Well, opportunity to put his team up by three or four. He's going to shoot two. That's 10 fouls on Missouri. Two point lead, Iowa State, 13 seconds to play. Pretty smooth right there. Yeah. So he can make it a two possession game again. If he misses this one, Missouri could tie it with the tray. If he makes it, it's a two possession game again. Missouri still has a timeout left. If they don't use it, you have to push the ball as quickly as possible. Possession arrow belongs to Iowa State. Huge. Just huge. Yeah, it really was. Four point lead. 13 seconds to play. You know, Iowa State doesn't put any pressure on the ball. It allows Winfield kind of a head of steam to get up there. And now Willoughby will sneak up just a little bit. You want to slow down the offensive player and make him run some clock. Winfield at midcourt. Nine seconds to play. Winfield for three. No. Kenny Pratt digs it out of there. Lost timeout. Oh, they called travel. They called a travel. Four traveling time. before he could get the timeout. 4.4 seconds to play. And now he doesn't want the timeout. Tim Floyd said, keep playing. Now they put Clay Edwards in for Moderman to play defense. Kenny Pratt gets the rebound here. 
And watch this. As he's trying to call timeout, he starts walking. He starts kind of taking some steps. Well, you can't go looking for it. No. <laughs> you know, you just it. huddle up and start. They'll find you. Still a four-point lead, Iowa State. Sutherland, tremendous try for a three. Can't stick it. And ball to Iowa State again. Kenny Pratt, and it's over. Well, fellas, not a good way to end it on that kind of note, but good ball game by Iowa State of Missouri, the Cyclones. We'll have a battle tomorrow in the championship against Kansas. This game has been just like this tournament. You shall thank you. Pointing to the Iowa State fans. Listen to them roaring for Iowa State in here. Great bunch of fans. Boy, will it be loud tomorrow, Fred. What a great final. Number one and number two, the best two teams that, that this conference has this year. That's how it ought to be. Comes out of foreign chart tournament. Kansas and Iowa State tee it up tomorrow. The winner of the automatic bid. Iowa State and Kansas both probably in the tournament. Boy, it was a battle. 57-53. Iowa State has defeated Missouri to move on to the championship game against Kansas tomorrow. John Sunvold, it's been a good year. Our crew, it's been a heck of a weekend for all of them. It's been here. a lot of fun. Good way to end it. For John Sanders and John Sunvold and our entire Big 8 television crew, Fred White saying thanks for watching. Good afternoon from Kemper Arena. If it's good, we win it all. If it's in, we win the conference. If it's even close, I'm going to McDonald's. Close enough. Great savings are as close as your local McDonald's. Choose from four delicious extra value meals with large fries and an icy Coca-Cola, just $2.99 each. If it's in, I'm coach of the year. Must be that Hilton magic. Have you had your break today?